Murray and today I'm in Kerbal Space Program point 25. So today I'm actually just going to go over all the new stuff that got added to the game uh, bit by bit so you guys get a good idea of what changed in the latest update. So we don't even have to go all the way into the main game to get to the first uh, change that was made. The first change is actually in the menu where you create a new game and they've actually added a whole load of difficulty options now as um, part of the main game. You could actually access some of these options before, but not all of them. Um, so now they've added them, and uh, soon, TM, there will be a hard mode series coming from me. But yeah, there's all, uh, loads of presets, and you can tweak everything to how you want it to be, and uh, make custom ones, things like that. And there's several options like, uh, you know, whether you can quick save and quick load or do things like that. So there we go. Um, that menu's been added. Uh, I'm going to go into sandbox mode. Actually, no, I'll go into career mode for now. And uh, let's go to easy and give myself all the signs and all the starting funds so I can show you some of the other stuff that's been added to the game. Um, there we go. I don't know, I'll just put this. So this is as easy as you can make the game now. So. Let's go and grab a flag as well and uh, create a new game just so you guys can uh, can see some of the changes. So the first notable change uh, comes actually just in this screen here. A new building has been added. It's the administration building or the administration facility. And this lets you change how you set up your um, your sort of campaign as a space agency. So you can change, um, you can, for example, here we go, this, for example, is in the finances section and uh, you can do fundraising campaigns. So it takes 5% of your reputation and uh, yields 7.1 funds for each unit of reputation. There you go. And you can change how the percentage. So let's say I could take all my reputation and turn it into funds if I really wanted to. doesn't sound like a good idea to me though. Um, so yeah, and you've got different costs for different things, so yeah, there's a whole new way of converting different um, units to other units, if that makes sense. So if you have lots and lots of money and you want to research more and do more science, you can do that. So the next thing that was added is um, some new parts, those being some space plane parts, and these were actually bought pretty much straight from a mod which I've mentioned before called Space Plane Plus. So there's a couple new cockpits, um, and these are actually to replace the Mark II parts. There's also a new Mark I pod just to make it fit a little more um, in with the other parts, and the all of the Mark I parts, I believe, have been slightly redone, or this part specifically has been slightly redone, but all of the Mark II parts have been redone. Um, there's actually another adapter, a different length. I can't remember which one. I think this one's the new one, slightly longer adapter. And then we've also got liquid fuel and oxidizer and just liquid fuel fuselages, which is really good, short versions of all of those, one with monopropellant as well. And then if we go to the utility section, there's actually been added a crew cabin and docking bays or cargo bays, which are really cool, a really good addition, and a docking port. And there's actually a bigger cargo bay here. And a big change, or something that was much needed, which I actually thought would be a cool idea and mentioned in a video, I think, maybe live streaming, um, was that now, let's say I want to put this into the cargo bay. It's actually really difficult to do to get it to attach to the um, the node there. So if you hold down Alt, the game is, I believe it's Alt. There we go. Um, is it Alt? Maybe it's Control. No, it's definitely Alt. There we go. Hold down Alt and the game disables surface attach, which means you can attach things like that. So let's say I go here, press Alt, and it snaps onto the to the um, node there, the attachment point. So in the vehicle assembly building, which is uh, where we are now, there have been um, a couple of changes. We've actually got a new stock craft, which is the Leah Star A1. There might be another one, I'm not completely sure to be honest. But this one is essentially a space shuttle. It actually uses jet engines as well. But it's a space shuttle with uh, cargo bays, basically. Um, which looks really, really awesome. Looks like it should be a really cool craft. I presume it can make it all the way to orbit, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try that out sometime soon. But for now, we're actually just gonna use the Kerbal X to demonstrate some of the uh, rest of the features 
that were added in this update. And you may know what's coming if you've been in tune with the updates from the developers on various social media platforms. So uh, before we actually um, do any um, moving, uh, I'd like to point out that if you go into orbital mode on the navball, we've actually got the new navball icon. So you can see every single direction has an icon. You can see now we're pointing away from Kerbin, which means we have this icon. There's also um, the icons for radial and things like that as well. And obviously prograde and retrograde are still there. So um, the other things that were added was, um, well now, let's say you have a space station and you dock to the space station, you don't actually need to get the kerbals out anymore to move them across to the other sort of parts of the space station. You can actually just dock and then move them via the uh, user interface. So um, obviously I can't do it now because I don't have anything to move them to, but if you click on the crew hatch, you can actually hit a transfer button and then select a module to transfer them to. And obviously I don't have any modules to do that with. So the last thing I'd like to showcase is the new explosions, which you may have heard about. Um, but basically all parts now have new explosions and uh, the buildings at KSC are now, as you're about to find out, destructible. So, sorry Kerbals, um, that one might cost a lot to replace. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I went through the whole change log, so there might be some little things that were left out of there, but that's all the important stuff for this update. I'm sure you'll see the rest of it if you watch any of my other videos, because I'm going to go into that uh, when I come across things. Anyway, thanks for watching, as always, and have a nice day.